Hi and welcome to the Clarity PPM, installing the primary server video. CA PPM has been rebranded as Clarity PPM. While this video was originally created for CA PPM 15.5.1, it is also valid for Clarity PPM 15.6. In the first video, we downloaded the ISO files from the support website, extracted them, and installed Tomcat in Java. In this video, you will learn how to use the extracted ISO files to install PPM. Before you begin installing PPM, you need to provide the database schema files to your database administrator. We had copied these files to the temporary installation directory in our previous video. Ask them to follow the instructions in the PPM documentation to prepare the Oracle or SQL database. You will need to connect to the database when we configure the Clarity System Administrator or CSA in the third video of the series. Let's get back to installing PPM. We have extracted the contents of the install file in the install folder. Let's open the command prompt and begin the installation process. To begin the installation process, type install and press enter. You will be prompted to enter the Clarity home directory. We want to install Clarity in the following location. The installer then asks you for the location of the third party libraries. Let's provide that. Next, you need to provide the location of the JDK file. Then, we will provide the beacon and multicast address. Even though PPM supports JDBC ping, we still need to provide the multicast address. This is needed when you are installing a standalone server, because PPM runs four microservices, which need to communicate with each other. Let's enter the beacon port and the client port. Next, the installer prompts you to check if you want to install CSA. Since we are installing a primary server, we must install CSA. Then, we will provide the path to the Tomcat directory. Now provide the port for CSA. Let us run it on the default 8090 port. The installer wants you to confirm the information you provided over the past few prompts. Validate the information and type yes to continue the installation. Next, let's enter the operator username and the operator email address and confirm the information you entered. The installer will prompt you to check if you have reviewed the installation guide. Navigate to the PPM documentation site and search for CA PPM. Let's review the release notes and ensure that the hardware configuration you are using is supported. When you are done, enter true in the command prompt to continue the installation and enter yes to use the settings. The check install utility starts executing. Certain checks may be skipped since they are only relevant during an upgrade scenario. Let's open the pre-check results HTML file to view the results of the check install activity. Let's navigate to the check install directory and open the check logs directory. Open the HTML file. You can see that when you want to upgrade PPM, you need to install content add-in successfully. Since we are setting up PPM for the first time, we can ignore this message. Let's also review the check install file. Since we did not run the check install utility in a standalone mode, we see that message here. We ran the utility as a part of the installation process. 
Let's enter Y to continue the installation. The installation process has now started. The installer prompts you to confirm the directory where you want to install PPM. Type Y to continue the installation. The installer then informs you that it will execute a new installation of PPM 15.5.1. Let's type Y to continue the installation. Let's navigate to the PPM directory. We can see that the file structure for PPM is getting created there. The installer then prompts you to enter the CSA password. The default password is admin, but you can provide a password of your choice. Let's set the password as admin. The installer will now execute scripts and bring up the CSA and beacon service. At this point, if your beacon is not coming up, you may have given a port that is already used by a different service. Ensure you get a dedicated port for the beacon. You can see that the product has been installed successfully. The CSA URL is provided here. Let's go to the install folder and check the install log. It gives you all the data that you provided during the installation process. If your installation fails, this file will help you and the support team diagnose the reason for the failure. Let's test the status of services by using this command. You will get this error message because you are running a service from the install directory and you have not set the PPM home path. Let's copy the path where PPM is installed and create an environment variable to set the PPM home path. Let's open the command prompt window again and enter this command. Since this is set as a path variable, you can run this service from anywhere. If you cannot set the PPM home variable in your organization, you need to navigate to the bin directory and run PPM services. Let's load CSA by entering the URL that was generated during the installation process. Let's enter admin as the password. If you want to change this password, search for a knowledge article created by our support team. Let's log in and accept the end user license agreement. You can now see various details, such as server name and port numbers. We have now successfully installed PPM and logged into the CSA. In our next video, Clarity PPM, Configuring CSA, we will configure CSA so that you can start using PPM in your enterprise. Thank you for watching this video. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.